When you're taking care of animals, nobody wants to think that the way they're taking care of animals is the wrong way. And in most cases, I believe there is many different ways to take care of many different animals that most people are doing it the right way. They all just have different ways and methods of taking care of those animals. So for some people, what might be normal practice or what they feel like is the way that they should be doing things, and everyone likes to always have their two cents on, like, oh, like you should be doing this or you can't be doing that. And I believe in both of those people arguing, like, you can't do this, you should do that. Most of the time, both of the people are right. For example, with our chickens here. Honestly, all the animals that we've been taking care of here on our small farm, we like to try to do things, at least for the way that we think of it, in the most natural way possible. And for us, what might seem like the most natural way some people might not think it's natural, and some people might think it's the wrong way of doing it. We like to let them free range. We like them to be able to have enough room that there's always grass, as you can see here, even though we're starting to lose it because here in Michigan it's the winter time. <laughs> oh, and we got some chicken fights going on. But we like to make sure that they can always free range. We feel like that's the most natural habitat for an animal in general, but especially with our chickens, is we love the fact that they can roam around and they don't have to be in such small areas. But for some people, they might not be able to have as much room to roam their chickens, so they need to try to confine them into smaller spaces. If you need to make it work, I just think that depending on the size space that you are going to put those chickens, you make sure that you get the right amount of chickens because I still think it'd be wrong to cram them into a small run area for a maximum amount of chickens. I do think you need to limit it. We love the free ranging aspect of our chickens because it helps fill their bellies because they're able to peck around and search for food in the areas that they're in. But that doesn't mean that we don't give them feed. Usually what we like to do, because right now, right now we just started feeding them as you can see they're eating here and they're eating over there in their other spot. But it's almost one o'clock right now. We like to let them roam around free range and try to fill their bellies as much as they can before we come and feed them about midday. And that'll usually keep their bellies more full for nighttime. No pun intended here, but the next thing that we got a little bit of heat on is our chicken coop. A lot of people, when it comes to winter time and it starts to get really cold for their coops, they like to insert a heat lamp, there's the pun, inside their chicken coop to heat up the chickens. And here, we are just not a believer that the chickens need it. This is going into our third winter. We've never used a heat lamp, and the chickens have always survived, and what we believe have been pretty comfortable. What we do is make sure they have enough room to roost in there. We make sure that they have a nice coop that is all blocked off from any really bad cold drafts, but still has some ventilation going. And we use the deep litter method to help warm this coop up a little bit. And we believe that's helped keep them a little more naturally warm during the winter, instead of adding a heat lamp, which we believe is a bad fire hazard. And also, if your heat lamp was to stop working and your chickens were dependent on it, they would go into a very bad shot. So it's not something that we believe is necessary, but people will do it. We've also done things like this, where we tarp off our chicken run area, as you can see here, just to block the wind from getting inside their big chicken run, which this is also something we did. Let me show you. This past fall, we designed this huge chicken run here so that during the winter time, we would have a spot to be away from the snow, but also kind of give them a little shelter away from any really big wind. So this is another idea that some people would like to think it's not natural, especially since we've thrown in a whole bunch of straw and some bedding inside there. But if chickens were in the wild, they would find some kind of shelter to get away from all the big wind. We just built one for them to use. The next thing that people have a debate about with chickens is the egg production during the winter time. They are gonna start laying less of these in the winter. It just happens. They require a lot of sunlight to lay these eggs. And during the winter time here in Michigan and many other spots here around the world, I bet, you're gonna have less sunlight eventually throughout the year. And this is our time for that. These chickens are laying less. We don't do anything about it. I used to look up ways for all these chickens and how are they gonna lay more? How do I get them to keep laying? I don't want them to stop laying, but, right? You have chickens for this purpose. You wanna make sure you get as many of these eggs as possible. But after reading into it and just realizing they were designed this way, they were designed to probably have this time of rest for their bodies. This time where they don't need to lay 24 seven, 365 days out of the year. They are allowed to have breaks because every animal, including us humans, were designed in a way 
and I don't want to throw that off. I'm gonna put these eggs back in. But I know some people and they wanna make sure they get as many eggs as possible. And they wanna make sure that maybe they're selling eggs to people or giving eggs to people and they're dependent on those eggs. So they'll put a light source inside the coop or a light source in their run so that the chickens are still getting the amount of light that they need per day so that they can try to keep laying even throughout the winter time. And if that's something that you do, then go ahead and do it. Like I said, it's not something that we feel like we want to do with our chickens. But if it's something that you need to do for your chickens, you gotta do it. We live in a time where people are so judgmental of what everyone else is doing all the time. And yes, we all have our own opinions. And as I stated before, there's a lot of those things that people do for their chickens that we don't. And yes, do I see some of those things as wrong? Yes, but that's my opinion. And you know what? Other people are gonna have other opinions and that's okay. I do think when you're taking care of animals, the best thing that you can do is to make sure that these animals are getting looked after the best. But in some rare scenarios, I do still have the belief that we need to do what's best for us. But as I was kind of stating, that we've been blessed enough to have all this acreage that we do that we are able to do that with our animals. And some people aren't. If you feel like there is no other option, that you need to keep an animal and you need to keep them in a smaller spot, which we wouldn't believe in as much, and keeping care of animals as natural as possible, I'm not gonna fault you and just yell at you about it. I do think that it's still better than buying from the animals that you're gonna buy from a store. I do think that you need to limit the amount of animals that you cram into these spaces though. If you're gonna have a very small spot for pigs, then think about only having one pig or maybe two at most, but don't get greedy with it and jam them all in to a point where these animals are basically living a life like how these factory farms treat them. I mean, if you look right here behind me, we do have a huge space still here in our backyard. And have we talked about getting a dairy cow or just a beef cow, to be honest? Yes, plenty of times. We just don't feel like we have a suitable spot for them. We would love one just nice, clear, one acre land for them. And that would be if we have maybe two cows, maybe three. We just can't see ourselves doing it any other way. And I know some people will still cram in their animals. And I do feel bad for those animals. I do feel like animals were put on this earth for them to be able to experience the earth just as much as we do. So when they're crammed into spots and they're not able to roam and free range and be on fresh pasture all the time, I do think we are hurting these animals more than that we're benefiting ourselves. And I think that's one of the biggest ways to look at everything with it, is that are we sacrificing the lives of these animals? And is it really truly gonna benefit us that much more you have to think about the trade-offs there. I know I'm gonna get comments on this video telling you it's like, well, I do this, you're telling me I can't do this, or you're telling me that this is wrong, and to be honest with you, some of the things that you guys would say, I probably would say I think it's wrong, but like I said, the key word there is I think it's wrong. That doesn't mean that I'm right, it doesn't mean that you're wrong, it just means that's how I feel about it. And luckily, most of the time, we have that freedom to take care of these animals the way that we feel like we can do the best we can. The best that I can compared to the best that somebody with 50 acres can or the best that someone with a half acre can are all gonna be different from each other for the most part. And that's the key word is that as long as you're truly trying to make sure the animals have a good life and that you are truly doing the best you possibly can, then I am sure that you are doing just fine. Thank you guys again for just listening to something that kind of just I've been thinking about kind of in my head for a little bit. I appreciate everyone that clicks on and watches our videos, especially if you've made it to this point here at the end of the video. Have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one.